Nobel Prize winners and scientists and doctors from all over the world. And they are the, the, the supermen. Well, of, I have of to tell life. you that um, we are going to go live now with Dr. Feinerman because – uh, there was a little bit of a difficulty here at the studio, so now we're going to have Dr. Feinerman talk about So welcome and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. A, a bad start for me, but I, no, po- and I apologize. No, it's not you. It's okay. Uh, we, uh, we took care of it. So uh, now, okay. tell us what, you know, it's funny. When I first met you, stem cells was very, very hot, but now it's really heated up. Oh, well, I'm going to heat it up more. Uh-oh. Because, um... Uh, it, it's it's just a shame that the United States is so far behind the rest of the world and all kinds of exciting things going on in Europe and Asia and South America. And uh, here I have to take um, a bunch of patients uh, with really terminal end-stage kidney disease over to Cancun, Mexico, where they got super excellent care. But um, and uh, and also I. Uh, I had several patients with polycystic kidney disease, which is a really a, a, a death sentence uh, to many patients. And uh, wh- why did we have to do that? Simply because, uh, and, and the procedures I used in uh, Cancun were essentially FDA compliant, and yet I couldn't find anywhere an interventional radiologist that would help me. And, you know... If if I give these um, mesenchymal stem cells or, that are autologous right from the patient's own uh, uh, bone marrow or adipose tissue, uh, giving it intravenously, it won't help them one darn bit. Oddly enough, uh, because of physiology, anatomy, those stem cells will all end up in the lungs. But um, there's a, a Dr. Severo uh, at uh, the Miramed Hospital in Cancun, Mexico, and he is superb. He trained at the uh, University of Minnesota in Minneapolis, and it, where he got his interventional radiology. And he is a true artist. And the patient it can remain fully awake and watch with this giant radiology screen uh, uh, off to the side uh, and see the catheter being passed safely and easily into the femoral vessels and up to the uh, blood vessels of the kidneys, right and left. I also treated a patient with diabetes uh, in which we passed the catheter right up into the pancreas. So we're talking about uh, throughout the world, maybe hundreds of millions of people who are faced with um, uh, end-stage kidney disease, and some of them then have to go on years and years of merciless uh, dialysis, and still not uh, the kidney disease goes on. Uh, this is just sort of like helping him get through the storm. But um, and the, the young man I treated uh, was a diabetic who had had all kinds of treatments and people. Uh, they take their oral medications for type two. They take their insulin uh, for type uh, one. And in some cases, they have to be on an insulin pump. But here, just a simple procedure that took 30 minutes, 30 minutes could totally turn these people's lives around. So, yes, if you have um, chronic kidney disease or some related kidney disease like polycystic kidney disease, we can reverse uh, the situation and restore life to you. And the same thing is true uh, with uh, type 1 diabetics that we offer a whole new uh, simple approach that, again, in 30 minutes, we, we, we give you pancreatic eyelid stem cells that produce insulin and, pan- and plus uh, mesenchymal stem cells, and we place it right in the, uh, in the pancreas in the, in the diabetic patients. You know, Dr. Feynman, I just want everyone to – I'm going to give them your phone number because this is so yeah. – wonderful for our listeners i i'm so happy that you're working with us on this uh you'll want to call a few things uh, you can try the 561-557-3358 and you can leave a message and you'll be called back on monday uh same thing or there's um, a number you can call and get directly to dr Feynman at 941-592-6613 
they have a web website. They have a few of them, but I'll give you one, and it's a uh, stem cell genetic med dot com. Also, Dr. Feinerman will be at the Boomer Expo, and it's going to be very exciting. You'll be able to meet him personally and talk to him. And and I was thinking as you were saying that it took such a short time for that procedure, and yet to fly over to, to Cancun, fly back, you know, two hours by the time you get to the airport, it is a shame. It's too bad that you don't have, you know, a magic wand and that you can make people do this. Right. Here. Well, I'm afraid that the situation, sadly enough, is going to, Stay the same for many years. Do you I, really? I do. I, I just don't see uh, where, uh, you know, this takes Congress and politicians and it's not, it's not, and, 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 and sadly enough, if I, if you lined up a thousand doctors and asked them about stem cells, I guarantee you that less, less than 5% of the doctors in the United States would really have updated knowledge and information and awareness uh, I, I was the founder of the Lung Institute, and that, that is one of the few things in which patients can get stem cells in the United States to treat their COPD and their emphysema and their pulmonary fibrosis. That, that they can do. So what, wait, so what is the difference in that and the other? Well, um, there's some conditions in which you can treat using autologous stem cells. And the, uh, the the only specialty that's really jumped into that are the uh, orthopedic doctors, and thousands of radio uh, of uh, uh, orthopedic doctors are using stem cell treatments to treat uh, to avoid needing uh, knee and and hip replacements and repairing rotator cuffs in the shoulder and things like that. Uh, and again, the, uh, the, the 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 procedures are available for COPD and pulmonary fibrosis. That's it. And yet, you know, we've got lots of other conditions that we, uh, heart disease that should be attacked. You, you and I spoke, uh, about not only treating the, um, the people that suffer from these serious and so-called incurable diseases, but the fact that we can, uh, offer, uh, healthy people preventive care with stem cells so they don't get many of the diseases that are afflicted, uh, with mankind. How long have you been interested in this? Uh, over the last 12 years and intensely over the last eight years. And uh, I, I've become more and more intense. Uh, and I I hope that I can help others. But, you know, it, t- it takes a lot of money. And um, so that's why I'm looking forth to try to get major investors to uh, help me so we can get this to become a major stem cell and gene therapy institute right here in Palm Beach. Well, when I think about um, how how um, passionate you are about this, and you are, um, I don't know why you think it's going to take years. If there must be other doctors who want to do this also, maybe you have to all join together somehow. Well, I mean, there are little uh, groups of us uh, already in that, in that regard, um, I think Dr. Mencia would be very open to this. I think he believes oh, in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, um, we, we need more and more doctors like him who are passionate about, uh, the advancement of medicine and, uh, and not, to, not to accept thing and say, oh, that, that's incurable. Uh, I, I, even I personally had, uh, some mild ki- kidney problems and I went to a nephrologist in my medical building in Wellington and he said, well, uh, there's there's nothing we can do for you, but if you get any worse, we can put you on dialysis. Oh, great, right? Well, no, you're you're quite a, a shining star for us, and we're very happy that you're become a part of our, our world here. Because when I look at Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's and the what you can do, it's just we have to be able to turn you loose. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that's what you're having a problem. Uh-huh. But but so let's just say that somebody has these diseases. Then you just have to take, is Cancun the closest place for you to do this? What about the Bahamas? Uh, I'm setting up an office in Freeport. Uh, Good. But that's still, you know, uh, uh, those places, I mean, I, to me, Cancun is, it's all of an hour and 15 minutes away, so it's not so bad. It's just, why do we have to yeah. go out of our country? Why yeah. do we have to go to the Bahamas uh, 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 for, for almost eight years? I've been taking patients to uh, Lima, Peru. Yeah, well, that that's a little bit further. But, Dr. Feynman, we really do appreciate your coming in and, and doing this. 
And I know people will be coming, lots of people are coming to the Boomer Expo. Look for Dr. Feinerman's um, exhibition booth, and we're all going to be there applauding him. And also, we certainly hope that uh, people will be calling his number. Let me give that to you again. It says his cell phone is 941-592-6613. Call him and tell him what your problem is and Listen, if you can't get it done here, go where you have to get it done. It's a matter of life or death. So let's not, you know, let's not play around with it. But the article in the last, in December's issue, chronic kidney disease can be treated. And now he has another article coming up in our January issue. So be sure to read it. Thanks, Dr. Feynman. Thank you.